Hello, this is Johan from AppsFresh.com. Today I'm here to show you an amazing source code based on a game that's not released yet, but maybe when you're going to watch this video, it will be released. It's called Swing Copters. Now, as you can see, the game is not even released, but it already has more than 400,000 views. Why? Because the person that made that game is Dong Nguyen, which is the person that made you probably already know, Flappy Bird, okay? So everyone is expecting to, this game to go crazy in the iTunes App Store and probably hit the number one spot worldwide for a while. So uh, we've decided to uh, clone the, the game mechanics and make the graphics different so that you guys can reuse these graphics as a starting point. So let me show you um, the game uh, mechanics before getting into the reskinning part. All right. Alright, I'm going to stop right here and uh, as you can see, so this game has um, lots of uh, ways to monetize. It has um, three different advertising channels. We have Traboost, RevMob and AdMob banner right here. Now, um, as you can see, um, the game is pretty straightforward. You control the bird and you have to swing the bird through um, the uh, pipes. Okay, so that's pretty much how you're supposed to do it okay here it's not a bird it's actually a chicken but feel free uh, it's like it looks like a bird as well um now uh what i wanted to tell you is that um there is very little things to reskin and i'm going to show you that as you can see the background is dynamic so the colors change automatically you can remove that if you want to that's no problem and it has lots of uh, vir virality factors such as the rate button that goes straight into the uh, rate and reviews send to a uh, Facebook with uh, the message that's already populated for you and let me close that so as you can see Facebook ready to go it also has Twitter and obviously as you can see um, a regular email so now you can also send an email straight to a person uh, telling them about this game okay so let me press the email button so as you can see it sends an email straight to a person okay so that's a way to add to the to to the virality factor now something else i want to tell you obviously it has the leaderboard and also uh, it has very little um, graphics to risk in so let's take a look at uh, the reskinning part so i'm going to go into xcode and show you if you go to the global.h file there's only one file to look at and all the way up top it says which font we're using okay now you have a, a link here for all the fonts that are already pre-made that are already a custom within the phone okay so you really just have to change the name of that font and you're ready to go here is the uh, the share message for facebook twitter and the email now these are all the advertising ids now any one of you that already took my courses or any of the other um source codes on appsfresh.com you should be very familiar with that it's always the same structure to make it standard okay so the uh, app id for the ratings and all the um advertising networks charboost revmob admob here is the leaderboard id and that's pretty much it the rest it's mostly uh, for cosmetic if you want to move things around okay now let's go to the gameplay layer.mm file now what's great about this source code is that at the beginning of this file you can change all types of different variables to make the game mechanics unique to your game okay so you can change the proper speed so the higher speed the faster it's gonna go up okay the character scale if you increase the scale the character is gonna look bigger if you decrease that it's gonna look smaller then the character initial position where it's starting so it's at 72 pixels from the from the, the bottom but you can increase that now the character speed on the on the on, on the horizontal axis so how it's gonna go and tank to the right and tank to the left okay and then the incline speed you can make it uh, tank uh, rotate to the left or to the right even more then you have the pipe scale you can make the pipes bigger or smaller 
you have the pipe starts the first when it starts you have also uh, the swing scale and the swing time so basically you can tell how many time how long it's going to take the swings to um, actually go back and forth okay the swing duration then the color of the font and you can also right here change the theme automatically or not so right now it's yes so basically it changes the colors automatically for us so as you could see the clouds and the background changes colors automatically if you remove that then it will just be the color you chose so let's take a look at um, the um, the um, images and the sounds obviously you can reuse any of the, the images and the sounds here they're from appsfresh.com so there's no uh, copyright issues now obviously don't try to make uh, a copy that's too similar to the original that could uh, you know cause you any problem uh, some trouble you know like anything else okay so try to not infringe any copyrights obviously so i'm gonna right click and do show in finder and we're gonna take a look at the uh, images so as you can see Everything straightforward. In the character folder, you will find the character animation. And as you can see, it's very simple. There's just the die animation and the um, the regular bird when it's idle. Okay, so just really two animations. And by the way, this works on all iPads and all iPhone size, Retina and non-Retina display. Okay, the clouds, as you can see, pretty straightforward. You can put any clouds you want. Now, I put the clouds different than the than the one from uh, from Dong and Guyen, just for the sake of having something different. But feel free to just do um, some kind of a rectangular looking uh, cloud just like they did if you want to. Now the coin, the original does not have coins, but this one does. So you can actually uh, get coins as you go through the pipes. Now, uh, I think that's, uh, that, that adds to the mechanics and that makes it uh, a lot more rewarding to the user. Okay, don't worry about the debugging. Now you have the ground, so in the ground, as you can see, the background is just a white color because the color changes through the theme, okay? So feel free to put anything you want, but you can leave it blank if you want. Now here is the ground. As you can see, the ground is just um, a, a square and the mid-ground, it's what's at the, um, at the bottom of the screen, okay? You can put anything here, rainbows, uh, butterflies, um, pipes, um, buildings, anything you can think of, okay? Here are the instructions, okay, very straightforward. Now here are the pipes. These don't have to be pipes, it can be anything you'd like to, okay, no problem. Here is the propeller that goes on top of the head with the animation, okay? So um, this goes on top of the head of the, um, of, the, of the character you put, so you really don't have to reskin that. You can just leave it the way it is unless you want to have a different type of propellers. And the swings, so the swings look some kind of like uh, hammers, but feel free to change that and have something else. Okay, and honestly, that's all there is. Um, the sounds are all here. You really don't have to change anything. They are open source, so feel free to reuse them. No problem. Okay, all right. So um, I hope you guys are gonna make some uh, amazing games with that. Now is the right time to do it. And uh, it's gonna be a huge wave. And it's very early in the wave, in the sense that it's not even in the App Store just yet. So it's actually one of the first times we're able to release a source code before the game is even out. Okay, so right now is a great time. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at info at appsfresh.com. Info at appsfresh, A-P-P-F-R-E-S-H dot com. Thank you.